Oh, my name is Kantenala Wosmir, or oh, everyone call me O. Yeah, it's my nickname. And you've been in England for? Yes, I have been in England since uh, 2005. Yeah. And you, you had interesting jobs. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your jobs? Oh yes, before I used to be like, like a banqueting manager or junior manager and doing some wedding or parties. After that, like uh, when I got married, I feel like, uh, okay, it's enough for me because I have to look after my family. Yeah. So I changed my job. I'm a care assistant, look after for elderly people, for the, especially for men, dementia people or mental, okay. mental health. And you find that a very rewarding job? Yes, yes. And in the future, I would like to study about like a mental nurse. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how does that connect with your faith, you know, the, your job? Is there a connection with your faith? Mm. Because you're Christian, aren't you? Yes, yes, I'm Christian, yes. Of course, I think uh, every action, like uh, what we do as a Christian life, uh, we start to pray. Yeah. So before, when I used to, when I was young, I didn't understand much about, because uh, when I was young, when I was as a children, like uh, eight or 10 years old, I follow my parents. I went to temples, but after that, uh, my brother, he just appeared in our house, and then he said like uh, he became a Christian, and that made my parents very upset about, and that, it made me quite upset as well, but in the same time, I was very curious about why he had to change as a Christian, and he said something very interesting for me, like uh, we can pray about. Basically, it's like a wind. We never know like uh, how the wind is look like, but it's like a, you cannot, you cannot know, but you can feel it's warm or it's cold, or sometimes you feel hot. You know when you have, you you can feel it. But uh, for the relationship with God, it's the same thing. Like uh, you don't know sometimes like uh, how God, how he is big or he's small. He can be a great helper. He can be a great uh, healing or as a healer. Or he can be a great uh, provider. So which is like, uh, or he can be comforter. So this is something like uh, we didn't know about. But we said like uh, we can start to pray. That I think when I was 14 years, and then I tried to, during my school holidays, so I went to church. Then I can see like a lot of Christians when they are facing in difficulty Christ, uh, situation, they just start to pray with God. So I just, I just want to try. So after that I pray, yeah. So some, sometimes God answer me, but sometimes God doesn't answer me. It's like a, when I give you an example, like uh, when I was little, maybe like a children as a boy, they want a bicycle. Of course, the parents want to give to them because, but if the boy five years old wanted to have a car, definitely the parents cannot give you the car because of, for the healthy safety, for, for the good reason, because the boy cannot, not, cannot drive. But the same with God as well sometimes, like uh, when we pray, it doesn't mean like a Christian receive all the blessing uh, in the way like a God will answer all the prayer, but um, God knows what is the best for in individuals and God will give you in the right timing and also that God knows like uh, when or which reason and what is the best for that person. And he has a purpose for in everyone. I believe even non-Christian as well, like uh, God can bless them as well. Yeah. And when you grew up, growing up in Thailand, of course you're surrounded by a lot of Thai practices and a lot of Thai people have charms, which you don't have. You don't have a cross or anything. But a lot of Thai people um, believe in these charms, don't they? Um, mm. Perhaps you could let us know what your, is your memory of how the Thai people use these charms and, you know, your experience of seeing them and how your friends and maybe some of your family might use them? 
Yes, my parents. I'm come from half of Chinese and half Thai. So, like my parents like to go to church. Oh, like to go to temple. Yes, of course. Sorry about that. Yeah. And yeah, they do Chinese New Year every year, even now. And they like to go to temple until now. But it's nothing. Maybe in the beginning, they against me a little bit, like a why I become a Christian. But they can see my life is changed as well. Like uh, before, I was very shy. I didn't want to talk much about myself. And also that, um, like, uh, uh, I can see like uh, my character is changed. Like uh, I, I, I like to work with people, like uh, help people, help each other. That what God says so. And uh, of course, like uh, a lot of people in the church help me as well to support me in the way like uh, what I need. Yeah, and that is really build up uh, our character and how to live in uh, harmony with uh, in society. Yeah, because um, a lot of Christians I know they wear crosses. Yeah. Um, or a Virgin Mary, yeah. like Emily, okay. like that. Okay. The reason why I don't wear cross like other people. It doesn't mean like I'm not Christian. I don't mind. Uh, I don't care about like a big church or beautiful church, beautiful temples, or like a big big cross or something very antique or hundred or five hundred years cross to hang on my on my neck. But the most important for us is about relationship with God. Yeah, because we know like a God is a father, and we should have a conversation. It doesn't matter like a, how you are. It doesn't matter like a, you are, you are which color you are, or how tall or how short you are, or how rich or how poor. It doesn't matter because in God's eyes, everyone equals, and the the relationship with God. It doesn't mean like you have to talk like when you go to talk with the king or the queens or something like that. But the relationship with God is something like you you just start make conversation like oh God for today that you know like sometimes like what I'm facing in difficulty situation I would like you to clear this situation I would like you to be my comfort and I would like you to help me. Yeah, and to bless me. And each Sunday you attend church, don't you? In That's London. the reason why that when I was young, I don't and I didn't understand my brother not at all. Why he wanted to go to church every Sunday, but now I know I found that God is real and God He is my helper, and that's why the, to keep Christian going to church every Sunday if they can. Of course, because uh, if God is not good enough, I don't think that all the Christians wanted to go to church. But because God is good, that's why that they still keep going. But they don't follow anyone. But they just want to follow Jesus because they know that Jesus, who is the one that who died on the cross for us, and He washed all the, our sins. Of course, we still have sin. Sometimes we, when we talking about the sin. I don't believe like uh, everyone perfect in this world. If they are perfect, that means <laughs> they are they are too good already. But uh, sometimes, as a human nature, sometimes we can make mistakes. But we believe in God. Like a uh, God will, when we come and confess, and God will watch our sin. Of course, but of course, God doesn't want us to commit the sin. And God want us to grow in the way that we support to do it, and we support to love each other, not killing each other. Yeah, not just only killing each other, but I mean like, uh, do not lie. Yes, of course, like uh, or gossip. You know, it's something like uh, it's applicable. It's something like uh, we can practice about. It's not it, the sin for God eyes. It doesn't mean like a. Uh, Yeah, you are murder, like um, you are killer. That is a big sin, or you are liar is a small sin. But for God's eyes, everything, every single step, what we do, if we do wrong is wrong, if we do right is right. So 
that's why that uh, all the Christian, I think we, we when we, we, we go home or what we, what we have to be done in during the daytime, so we just come back to God and then pray about that and we realize that okay today we done good enough in God's eyes or not, and this is to glorify in God, our our God name or not. It's like a children. It's the same thing as well. If you're doing good for your parents, the parents are very happy. When you're doing good for God, yeah, God, I believe God, He is happy as well. So we should be a good ambassador. So your church is actually not the traditional church where you meet. It's just people, isn't it, more than anything else? Basically, you give Christian life, we have two things together. One thing is the most important is the relationship with God. But when you have relationship with God, that means you read the Bible, you make a prayer, you go to church, you praise and worship, and sometimes you go to Christian house and help each other or to support one another. When uh, the person or my neighbors having difficulty, so we pray about, we pray to God to help for that area or something like that. That is make us grow. You know, so that means uh, our relationship uh, can be both sides. That means our relationship can be with God and also that with people around. So we cannot live with God with our people because we live in this world. Yes, but I was just thinking that um, a lot of Christians go to church, but you don't necessarily need that building, do you? It's nice to have building. Why not? That's the, but of course, the most important, like that Bible said, like, is about God. It's about relationship with God. And then you make a prayer, and then you want to know God, and then you will be blessed by God. Yeah. So tell, tell us a bit about the hymns that you sing. Do you sing hymns? Hymns? Yes. Um, I'll pray. sing hymns. Yeah. Um, yes, uh, in different way, because of maybe like a in long generation, they they like to pray even now some some churches they still sing hymns hymn is very nice song you know but for young generation for young generation they like they like something like a lively you saw sometimes like a yeah you know we are young generation of course it doesn't mean like a we we don't believe but everything like a what what whatever that we do we do for God. It doesn't matter like uh, the way that we do, maybe like uh, in tradition or maybe in a modern way, but it doesn't matter because this is what we do as long as that is applicable and as long as that is the right in the Bible doctrine. So just go on, move on. So you're very up-to-date Christian. Yes. <laughs> so tell me, in Thailand, did they sing the songs in Thai? Yes, of course, they sing songs in Thai as well, but mostly um, they sing Quite the same, yeah, quite the same, yeah. So it's kind of like, a, it depends what is your character. Maybe you like something antique or you like something like a own tradition. Yes, you can have a choice. You can go to the, go to the, to the church, tradition church. But as a, I'm a young generation, so I like to come with a, or to meet all the young generation. Yeah, to meet my friends, to have a chat, yeah. And also that uh, I think it's very good community to, 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 to be in a cell because we can understand each other. And when we understand each other, that means we can support one another more and more. Yeah. Great, that's great. Did you want to add anything else? Well, I don't know what to say, but just let's say like uh, if God is not real, if God is not good, we, we are not here today. That's why that I'm here every day, every Sunday, because I know that God, He is good. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome.